Ashley and Hannah, take one on Ashley Runs Haiti. All the details that we can remember up to this point. Which is not that many, but we're gonna figure it out. But as we're talking about it, and as we're as as we've had at least one good night's sleep out of 72 hours, we're starting to remember everything that actually happened. Um, so Hannah and I actually flew in at the exact same time, but she came from Fort Lauderdale, we came from Miami, I was with Eva and my two boys. And, and I was Hannah with uh, Mary, Mary flew in the night before and we did the glow run together with her family in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. So it was nice because our planes landed, we were actually parked right next to each other. We got off the plane at the same time, yeah. we walked to the baggage claim which was completely chaotic. Um, and then all of a sudden security popped out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. We're very thankful for security because it is like crazy. I mean, everybody's, you definitely can feel like you're out of your comfort zone. And so, you know, we were trying to keep track of trip and cash, and then there were like the four of us, and then we had like 20 bags. Yeah, so many bags. <laughs> so Full many. of food. <laughs> Everything. Survival kits. And but, like supplies that we needed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're coming to a third world country. You can't yeah. drink this water, you can't eat this food. Yeah. So we came prepared. We knew yes. we were going to be on the road for a few days. Uh -huh. So thankfully, security grabbed us, um, they grabbed all of our bags. They helped keep track of trip and cash. Yep. We then walked out to the car. Yeah, they found our drivers. We had, what, three? Three vehicles? No, two. Two vehicles. So, two oh. vehicles. This is where it got even. So, from right from the beginning, two vehicles, okay? One vehicle was supposed to have Ironclad, our film crew, yep. plus one security guard. The second vehicle, we had a security guard, plus the runners and Eva, which is the marketing director. Yep. Um, and the Haitian doctor was yeah. supposed to be with us. And obviously the guy that was driving the cars. And the guy that was driving the cars. But we didn't know, okay, these were just regular sized vans. On top of that, <laughs> there was like... It was like the squad. We had this Haitian mafia come through. It was like five media crew. Yeah. Five, a five person media team that wanted to fit <laughs> in inside the of our van. van. <laughs> didn't speak English, no. any English. And they were like full, no AC, full suits. <laughs> Head to toe. Yeah, they're like in sports bras, <laughs> dripping with sweat. They've got a three-piece suit on. Yeah, looking good, dressed in the nines. Uh huh. They just wanted to document it, right? Yeah, but it was like that was like the first thing. Is like, I mean, we had all this luggage, all this like bags that we needed to have available to us, and then we had an additional crew that was supposed to be in our van that we didn't know what to do. So. And I think that <clears throat> like being from an outside in and because we knew that that would add stress to you we kind of try to downplay it and be like oh it's fine like don't worry we'll figure it out but really I'm thinking shit this is not good like when we need to rest we're where, crammed yeah, in a van like this rest? where are we gonna rest like we had mm -hmm. this I think idea of taking a couple of hours of break here and there and you would just lay on the mm -hmm. lay on the back of the van or we'll rub you out but that wasn't an option plus we had packed so much in our bags that because the, the van was so crammed that we didn't have the option to just go into the bags and find what we needed. No, so the bags were like really stacked difficult. in the bag. Like it was like Tetris. Yeah. And there were bags on top of the... <laughs> With no rope. <laughs> yeah. So we like... yeah. It was crazy. So we took off. We took off driving. Um, we drove like, what, 45 minutes yep. outside? Yep. Just outside. Uh-huh. Um, Dropped you off. You said bye to your boys. Yeah. They went to the orphanage and then our truck, that was it. Literally landed. She stayed in the same clothes. She changed her shoes. That was about it. And that was it. Yeah. She's off. Grab yeah. the flag and man. Setting off any on any mission like that is obviously your anxiety is through the roof, but when you're in a really foreign environment when there's so many people around, there's definitely no traffic is not being regulated. The roads are extremely different here. The, the cars are crazy. It's like there's no rules. Mm -hmm. So I think that that probably made me made you a little bit on edge too, and you're exciting way more make way more energy than you would have been if you were just yeah, jetting just off and like a regular a regular. So ride. I don't remember what I don't remember anything after that. <laughs> Neither do I, but I'm gonna try and put it together. So yeah. I we ran up until like um, I think I ran straight. When did you get out? I got out. I got out after about five miles. Mm -hmm. I got ran out. A miles. Yeah, I jumped in with you. Mm -hmm. I we trucked it through. I think we had a really long stretch to begin. And then that was, well, I mean, I think around 2 a.m. we figured that you'd run like a whole marathon. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, 26 miles is a ridiculous amount of distance to cover, but we'd stop, stretch, hydrate, salt right. hills. And but we stopped around 12.30 because the drivers were getting really tired. Oh my goodness. No, no, it was the, the police, the security that we had, the police, they started complaining because they were ready to go home and sleep. And we were like, no, oh. no, 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 no. We're Sorry. driving through the night. We pulled over. Um, I got an IV. That was like my first of probably I feel like five IVs that I had. Um, 
Go to Ivy. We changed because remember the humidity here is like yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. And then, so we probably stopped for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. And then the cops, the security guys, the, the Haitian security guys told us that they didn't want to go on. They made a huge... Yeah, Marcus. so we probably sat there like compromising. That's when our security American guys stepped in and they're like, no, 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 no. You guys are getting on the motorcycles. We need you, like, started compromising with them. And I think, you know, when we all landed here, we thought, okay, the Haitian security are going to take care of us. I and Clyde are going to take care of the equipment. And that was like kind of how we thought things were going to go. And then whenever, like, the first person to cause a problem was the police, we were like, these guys are not going right. to step in and be the people that we need them to be. Right. And I think. I and Clad, um, when they had hired the security team, they hired some serious security that, like, obviously knew how to take care of us a lot better than than the Haitian police did. So they kind of stepped up, but at the beginning they didn't, right? Because they were super timid. They were very calm and patient. I'm like, man, these guys have got so much patience. That I'm thinking that's because this isn't their job right now. Right. But then they realized that shit is gonna hit the fan if we don't step in. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. No, so they, this mission will they not really stepped in. They were like, you need to wake up and drive. Yeah. You need to get on your moped. We're going through the night. No, they didn't. They said, if you don't want to be here, then go. We'll take it from here. Yeah. Right? Because if you tried right. to find them the hotel, that's right. that night, right? Or am I confusing that? No, no. We kept driving. Well, then we started running oh again. Oh, my God. Do you remember? We did. We started. It started pouring. Yeah, rain. we ran through the pouring rain. And then... So we took off running again. We probably break there for like an hour and a half, mm -hmm. just trying to compromise with the... Uh, the Haitian security, the Haitian police, like to keep going. And if anything, you would think that we'd be waiting on you to start, right. and we weren't. We were like we were scraping ready. our feet, ready to go, getting like aggravated because the Haitian police were not cooperating. They were complaining. Mm -hmm. So we took off running again. Um, we ran until about uh, probably 4:30. We ran through Gonavis, um, which is where we dropped off of the media team. <laughs> That was crazy. Oh my god. We dropped off the media team they at had the to hotel. Go. They, they had, had to go. Because all they dropped were doing was causing, like, yeah, it was just too much. Super stressful. And then the police were like, you guys gotta go take a nap or whatever. We uh, ran just a little bit further and we actually had two hours. We gave ourselves two hours of sleep. We pulled out our ground pads. The security guys were like, they pulled over and, and they, they were like, they're flashlights. The and they're like up on the hill. And I was like, huh? I was like, I'm gonna sleep in the van. They're like, no, go up on the hill and sleep with your ground pad. And I was like, okay. Outside? Was yeah. the mosquito net? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we ended up going upstairs, which was, it was awesome. We slept for like two hours. Yeah. And then um, we woke up when the sun, rise, the sun was rising and we all, obviously there's no bathroom. So we all had to like, and poop on the side of the road. <laughs> so when we went back up to find a private place to, to go to the bathroom, we were walking across the floor of where we slept, and it was daylight. And I realized there wasn't one foot between. I don't remember horse that. poop or human yeah. or matter. I don't remember that. I, I do. We hilarious. slept on the floor on top of human no. poop. No. Yeah, we don't. No, I don't. Yeah, we I don't. think it was just weird rocks, <laughs> gravel. If that's so, what I'm <laughs> next, next day, anyways, got dressed, got changed, mm -hmm. people, you know, whatever, out of the car, got back in the car, took off running again. And that down, was a crazy long crazy stretch. Crazy long stretch, which we did great in the morning. Yeah. So, it started getting really hot at 9 a.m., right? Now, remind you, the night before, I told you it poured rain on us. We pulled over, the security guys were like, do, 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 you're gonna sleep there. We we're like, okay. okay. Basically laid down, crashed out. Okay, no, right? we laid down, you crashed out. Ashley literally <laughs> laid down, like, head first, shoes on, jacket on, didn't move for two hours. Eva was passed out sleeping, and there's me, like, how are these guys sleeping? Like, we are in the middle of Haiti, on top of a hill. There's, with the, what the hell? Like, oh my god, this is so weird. If you think you come out and get us, ah! yeah. And I couldn't sleep because I was like, okay, if I'm gonna sleep, I need to at least get comfortable. So I took my shoes off. But Ashley, I did didn't. Not. So I left my shoes and socks on. Yeah. Started running in the morning around 9 a.m. I noticed my feet started hurting. And then one of the security guys happened to be a medic too, thank goodness. Yes. Um, because, yeah, thank goodness. Anyways, took off my shoes, had massive, like my toenails were coming off. It was that bad. Didn't he massive. say that you had like trench foot? A trench foot and two of my toenails were already coming off. Like if he like touched them, they were like, anyways, pop, it was like the most painful it thing. He popped my blisters. Yeah, so I put on a bigger pair of shoes, new socks. He was like, Ashley, why are you running? In wet socks. I was like, I don't know. know. I was so tired. Yeah, we didn't think about that. <laughs> no. which, yeah. So we took off running. Super, super hot day that day. I don't remember if you probably almost got heat exhaustion. Yeah, that you was ended my up worst getting an day. IV. Yeah. yeah, so we ran for as far as long as we could, covered a great bit of ground, found some shelter. 
the camera crew had to charge their camera equipment because the van output did not have the right amount of plugs to be able to charge their equipment. So we had we basically just rented a hotel uh, for a few hours and. That's where we both got IVs again. Uh, for the few hours we had, the guys uh, charged their equipment. You, we did some recovery with Power Dot. Yeah, shopping. yeah, Power, yeah, recovery Power Dot. Um, and then we took off right around when the sun was setting. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Where that was like 8 p.m. Okay. 8 p.m. Um, from then, man, I don't even remember that stretch. <laughs> that was the mountains. That was oh, heading, that oh, was that was leaving that was leaving Gonnery's Gonnery's into Ennery and that was the mountains. And that's okay, so right after we passed Gonnery's, we were heading in, we we're heading into uh, Ennery and oh, also yeah. Pleasant. And so as soon as we left the hotel, we could tell that we were headed up the hill. And like, so there was like all this like kind of up and down, up and yeah. down. I don't know how long that stretch was. That was a long stretch, but but I, it also switched from pavement to like rubble. Oh yeah, which was so a game changer. I I took that solo. Yeah, I had to. I had to call quits. Yeah, and your knee started hurting. Yeah, man. Like, Her knee started hurting really bad. Bad. So I took that solo. And, and a then, solid, solid solo stretch. Yeah. By the way, you ran for a solid like four or five hours alone, right? No, not that one. That, no, this was the time. This was before, right before you got out, and I was like, Hannah. I need. So I, I ran this stretch, and then I was like, Hannah, I need you to take this stretch for me. And I, she's like, Okay, I got this. Anyway, she got. I didn't know. Is this when we went up the top of the yes. hill? all that abandoned. Yes. No, no, that's when you ran up that, and then it was abandoned buildings, yeah. and then I went down the hill. Yeah. So I was like, so we got to a point. I was like, Hannah, I just need you to take like a few miles for me. She's like, Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Oh my Anyways, god. Anyways, dude, the, you talk about how bad like it I felt. Straight uphill. Like she ended up power walking I with Andrew, one of the film guys. Yes, yeah, because I figured that my my knees were like so brutally in pain every time we were going on an incline that my power walk was actually faster than my run. Yeah. So thank goodness for Andrew. Like we crushed it up the hill, mm -hmm. 90 minutes nonstop. Mm -hmm. And then so we got up to the top yeah. of the hill, which I felt bad. Like anyways, no, but I was no, so no. grateful. I had I had you needed break. that. You I really needed, needed that. Anyways, but about, it was almost like I perfectly planned it. I'm like yeah. Hey, I was like I know this hill's coming. Hey, I just need a favor, please. <laughs> Get so we this got one to the top for of the hill. Like it was crazy scary up there. Like all these like weirdly abandoned like buildings and stuff and the guys of course were like okay this is a good place to stop and we were like and you kept hey. saying like i'm not cool i was this. like i'm like, not need comfortable it was like uh, yeah. voodoo stuff like, yeah it was really voodoo stuff it was weird. weird so we got up to the top um i basically changed my clothes got ready and then i did the net and of course my like i started running hannah was like i'm out i'm done so i ran solo all the way down which was like maybe a couple hours yeah um, straight downhill the whole time, dude. It was freaky though. There'd be like weird cows on the side of the road, like sleeping. <laughs> and all this ice cream. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be running like the security guy. It would be. It was like the probably the creepiest thing. And then I'd see like eyes. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> you know, it was like crazy. So we ran all the way down to the bottom, and then I don't know what happened after that. I don't. Yeah. What happened after that? Our story is really long, so we had to turn on the lights. Yeah. Um, so we um, so we ran until again it was like 4 a.m. Drivers were exhausted. I made the executive decision. I was like, you know what? I was like, the drivers need to sleep for a couple hours. We drove into uh, we found like this spot on the side of a uh, like this. I don't know. It was the, the road. Well, yeah, it because like, it was different. Because we were in the mountains, there wasn't land. It was yeah. like mountains and then nothing. Road. It was so almost we like we were going through. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't any. So, Eva, the girl, Eva, and um, me. Yeah, you guys stayed in the van, yeah. and then um, a couple of us, because there wasn't a whole lot of space, we slept on the ground again. I pulled out my ground pad, just freaking out. This time I took off my socks because of the whole blister thing in my shoes. <laughs> um, so we slept for two hours. As soon as 6 a.m. hit, we were up. Yep. We started running, um, and I th I really think that this was probably my favorite day. So like, um, I took off running. I think you started with yeah. me. You started yeah. with me. Yeah. So um, Hannah started with me that morning. We took off running, and then all of a sudden, like the most beautiful, like we started going down this hill. It was yeah. almost like it was like switchbacks, and like well, I just want to say, um, I was in so much pain. Um, so much pain whenever I started this like I well from the get-go you went right 
yeah, there was something wrong with me. Like I was nauseous the whole time. I was either dry heaving or throwing up. She couldn't get any food in, which is like I couldn't eat terrible. Nothing. Couldn't eat any goose. Like I every couldn't time, even drink. No, every time I was trying to feed myself, I was legit like gagging. Yeah, like gagging. Yeah. And I started. I stopped taking my antibiotics because the one of the again one of the security guys was also a medic, and he was just like, just stop taking your antibiotics. Um, he's like, well, monitor your fluid. I'll keep close eye. And bear in mind, since we had been running through the mountains, like the elevation took a huge change, which mm -hmm. caused, I think, for me, like I puked because of the elevation change. Yeah. But for you, like you, I don't. Just sick, I man. really. You I don't know. Sick, I don't know what sick. was wrong. I don't know. There was something. And still, wrong like, me. champed it out and wouldn't stop. Yeah. I tried. So anyway, so despite all the pain, I was just like in so much pain, then all of a sudden, like, I still remember it. And I'm carrying the flag, the Haitian flag, and it's Hannah and me. And then I'm holding the flag, and I came around this corner, and this little boy was like, ah! And I was like, ah! And he was just started, like, taking off running, and he, like, ran with us. For, he had I one swear, hand of yours, yeah, and he holding held, his pants up with yeah, the other hand. He was holding... Flip flops off. Yeah. And, I, and we were running downhill, and I kept saying, like, after we got it, I was like, au revoir, like, you know, like, it's okay to go because you have to go uphill, like, mm. where's your family, you know? We must have crushed at least, like, a mile. Yeah, and he at was least holding on. a mile. And he was holding on my hand the whole time, but, like, that was probably, it's crazy how, like, we talk about pain, oh, and, like, pain God. is so, it's just in your mind. Like, pain it is has relative. to be in your mind yeah. because, like, yeah. it's so easily forgotten, like, it's so in your mind. Because, like, I mean, I know that you had a couple, like, instances too, but, like, as soon as that boy came, like, my whole, like, Oh, I forgot all the pain. Yeah, your mind switched to something else. I, I mean, at one point, I'm like, I there's a hundred percent. I've torn my left hip flexor. Like, I that's didn't talk. You, you thought, yeah, that's hundred percent. Like, I'm weird. I don't like to talk about pain because I think once you verbalize it, it gets worse. But, like, my left hip flexor was excruciating. But then 20 minutes went by, and there was nothing in my left hip flexor. It's like the same amount of pain moved to my right knee, and then 15 minutes went by. And then and she's then like, I, left she's knee. like, I tore my ACL. <laughs> Now we're gonna be able to squat again. No more burpee frog hop jumps. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like the pain, I think that your body can only handle so much pain, but it just radiates around different places. Your mind just plays tricks on you to try and get you yeah. to stop. You're pushing 100%. your body way beyond its limits. Like your your mind is telling you to stop. Yeah. So we got to the bottom of the mountain. Um, we stopped, like met a bunch of kids, gave out some candy. Which um, I think was like your like energy booster like every time you came in contact with these kids it was like yeah. nothing else mattered you had this huge smile on your face right you're like not everything hungry just, anymore everything you're not tired anymore right. it didn't matter and i think that was key for you because that kept you going like yeah. why you're doing this now and i think it was like at that point i told going into this i told eva i was like because i was a little stressed out whenever i was like okay twenty eight thousand dollars that's a lot of money to to be able to raise yeah. i was like you i were mean I was a little freaky. You out. didn't think you were gonna make it, right? Um, well, I mean, I don't want to tell people that because I, you know, I in my mind, I think maybe I told like one person or two, two people. I was like, what if I, what if we don't make twenty eight thousand dollars and like we do this is a huge production. I was like, what if? And but I told Eva because Eva was like following everything. I told Eva, I was like, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. I was like, whenever we hit twenty eight thousand dollars, tell me. And we woke up that one morning, and I think Eva had received a text message from Aaron, uh, someone else on our team, and we had hit the goal like over. I think. Oh, what day was that? What day was that, Eva? It was Tuesday. Okay, so that was, that was, was before the mountains. Oh, okay, so it was yeah. before the mountains. So we actually hit. I don't know when that was though, because the day is kind of blur. But <laughs> it was, in, it was like okay, on Tuesday. If we set off at like 5 p.m. on the Monday. That was less than 24 hours. We reached, the yeah, we that's reached what it is. Day, it was day two. Hours. My skin is crawling. So I just like started bawling. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. And then, but it's weird though, because at that point, like, I mean, everything was basic. Like at, after that point, it was a goal. Like it was, it was a challenge between like myself. It, it didn't yeah. matter anymore yeah. if we ran, if we didn't run, what the we did. The goal had been met. The goal had been met, like we could have quit. But so from that point forward, it was just like a challenge, like you versus you. Yeah, sort this, of is, thing. this is, you're not gonna quit this, on yourself now. You're not gonna quit on yourself. You've you're done it for going. these kids, yes. and now this is like for you. Like you Now you're gonna keep going. This. Yeah. And so that was like super emotional, start crying. I think everybody was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So we actually raised the bar higher to 36,000. 56. Huh? 56, we doubled 56. it. 56, we doubled it to 56,000. I guess. That's Eva <laughs> behind the lens. And of course you guys know that. What's up guys? <laughs> um, okay. 
So, yeah, it wasn't until that last stretch, like, I got so, this is, like, the crazy part, and I got so, so sick. Like, I would probably take, like, 20 steps. I told, um, I told Hannah, I was like, I just want to run by myself. Couldn't have a conversation. And definitely, like, severely dehydrated. Again, because, like, I wasn't able to really eat or drink anything. Which, it... Uh, obviously, like, we knew that that was going to be a problem, but, like, you wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop. I mean, I couldn't stop, you know. Right. It's not an option. Yeah. But at so, some point, you're going to burn out. Like, zero fuel. Mm -hmm. like, you couldn't get anything in you at yeah. all. And, um, anyways, I, I was like, I just want to run by myself. I was really sick. And I sat down. I was, like, dry heaving. I could throw up. I was literally, dry, literally just, I would run, and then I just, like, like I was just dry you like literally like full blown sprint and then all of a sudden just yeah but not just even like, stop like wipe your mouth and just keep going yeah. until you got to a point where like it wasn't good man yeah you, she stopped she and was I, I think severely I think at this point like you know even ironclad and the additional security team that we had like we were all very much like I, I obviously like the film crew is the film crew nobody else has, knows how to work like the right, camera right. but like Absolutely. At this point, everybody had pretty much ran with me. We all ran together. People took turns running yeah. with each other. Um, but everybody everybody took a leg and ran with me. And so I feel like, you know, whenever you're put out like that vulnerable situation, like you guys, you definitely, you re you have to rely on each other and yeah. you get close. And, you know, you're sitting there and you're like watching somebody go through something time and time again. Yeah. You know, like the whole Ironclad crew was watching wow. us go through yeah. this. Like, yeah. And at the very end, whenever I was like super sick, I sat down and I was like, I can't go anymore, like I have to quit. And one of the security guys got out and he was like, Ashley, you can go farther. You have another hour and a half left in you. And I was like, no, I don't. I was like, I am so sick. I was like, I'm so hot. My body your temperature body, is like, like my burning body is up. Burning right now. Yeah, I cannot do it. And he was like, yes, you can. He was like, 100% you can do it. And I remember like that was definitely like the breaking point where I had tears and I was crying. Yeah. That was probably your lowest, lowest yeah. part Yeah, and I, I walked over and I sat down on a bench and he was like, Ashley, he's like, you have to go another hour and a half. He was like, you have another hour and a half and, and you like, you said that you were going to do this and you need to do it. Yeah. And I remember I had never like, I mean I didn't, I only knew him like from the trip but like I had never been like more mad at a person. Because he yeah. was like basically challenging me or saying, like basically, you. basically telling me like that I was, I'm a quitter. I yeah. felt like. But I think that it was, you know, from him having a military background, I think it was as much as I thought like, and I'm watching this from the sideline, and I think that I came on this trip to kind of be like this person as your support group and like kind of like to lead the team and to stretch you when you need to be stretched. But I kind of recognized what he was doing. Like he was kind of yeah, playing a mind know. game with you, and mm -hmm. I don't think he recognized that. That's why I kind of stayed yeah. out of it. But. At this point, you were just getting so frustrated, but because was, you were texting, I, so I want to quit, he wouldn't let her quit no. until she challenged him and was like, I'm not going to quit. And as yeah. soon as you said, I'm doing it, he's like, all right, that's all I need to hear. Get in the bed. Yeah. Done. So, done. So I sat down. So all that happened, I sat down on the chair, and then uh, the Ironclad crew oh, yeah. came over, and they said, Ashley, how are you feeling right now? What's going on in your head? Dude, a freaking something clicked. I looked at that guy and I just like I didn't say anything and I just got up and I started running and I probably ran I was so mad I probably ran maybe 50 feet I turned over and like puked my brains out puked, like, like straight up probably like five times like yeah puked which, my brains out yeah. and then I and then I just kept running and then I was like I gotta find a bathroom I really gotta go to the bathroom like I had to go pee and it was kind of like in a village so there's not really a whole lot of places that you can go like behind a bush Anyways, they found, like, within, like, less than two minutes or whatever, they found me a restroom, and I found a place to go to the bathroom, and then I turned around, and then the security guy was there. He was like, you're done. You need to get in the van. I was like, I told you I'm not going to quit. And he goes, that's all I needed to know. Get and, in. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then I went immediately to a hotel, the closest hotel, which wasn't, it wasn't too, too far away, and, um... Hooked me up with like I probably got like three, three liters. liters. Three liters of I was I was I was laying in the bed like limp like I couldn't even no she I, was out of it I was limp I didn't 
He was like, uh, he couldn't even find a vein. He, yeah, he had to stick you a few times. A few times. Depleted to be on the leaf. Because like, like, he couldn't even find a vein, so stuck me a couple times. I don't even remember him sticking me. Like, I, like, I couldn't even feel it. He was like, trying to find a vein. No veins to be found. We were even considering going into the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. My, yeah, it was that bad. And got a freaking couple IVs and like I perked up, started feeling better, got some actually real food. We decided to sleep for five hours, which is yeah. the most sleep that we have had. Yeah, that was and, key. That yeah. was absolutely key. Mm -hmm. And um, the next day, man, the most impressive leg of the whole trip was the last day, which to me is like mind blowing. Yeah. This chick set off and did not stop running like when I say did not stop like didn't walk for what like five six hours I don't know it was tough it, that was, was, probably seven, the most it was like almost seven hours seven hours seven hours straight or if she did stop she didn't stop she was like power walking yeah. I thought she was mad she needed two cans of beans to join I'm her. telling like, you that because that that guy he, said, like, he, got he was like he, he was like are you gonna quit I was like now there's no reason to I've got yeah. food I've got a hydration like right. try I felt me great. you were like try me yeah and you proved so I took I took oh off and I, I told Hannah I was like I, I want to take this one I think I was like it was just something weird going on in my head because you started out running with me yeah I did and then you wanted to be on your own I was like I need to be myself so I and took off running by herself like whenever you're running long distance you always try and do things to kind of take your mind off things so for me like I would just want to listen to music and like zone out you didn't even want headphones. You no. wanted just you, yourself, and like your mission, and you just wanted to just destroy it. Yeah, I listened, to, I listened to my headphones a couple times. A couple times, but not on that strip, yeah. I don't think. No, yeah. that was, you did, I think. I did have my headphones Because mm -hmm. you were feeling so good. Yeah. And you had you had music on, and you were just in the zone. In the zone. Yeah. yeah. Seven hours straight. Yeah, so. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I was wait. I didn't even go to sleep or rest because I'm like, at any point now, she's gonna stop and like need, yeah, like a leg. Really sick yeah, I was all like need assistance. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I gotta stay in it, stay in it. I'm like, one hour, two hours, three hours, Why four hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, kids, those keep are, it down. Those are all the kids here that we help fund with all the money that y'all donated. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm a part-time comedian. <laughs> if you didn't know, yeah. I'll be here next week. <laughs> Whoa! It's Haiti Power. So what happened? We just got power. Woo! And then... We just got power. That means we have water. Yes! Um, okay, so... And then... Um, we, I ran until... We basically met at a, like, not a park. It was like a, a it was just like a ground. Like it, there was people working. I don't know what that was. Oh, we ran, what was that one pretty village that we ran through? Oh, that was Saint safe? Raphael. Yeah, so we did the group oh, run yeah. into Saint Raphael. Saint Raphael was beautiful. And a huge morale beast for uh -huh. you. We ran as a group. Like, yeah. everyone on the team went we out and We drove through this river. Oh, and that then, was amazing. Yeah, it was beautiful. And then, um, we were so many miles outside of Hinch. And, of course, we had to make the right time for because the people from MFO the boys and girl the boys and girls from MFO were gonna meet us um, so we went and we grabbed something to drink yeah and we met um, I guess there was like a couple people we met them at this park so we yep. drove a little bit and then the media was, crew appeared they appeared they wanted our but they shoes they wanted to run so they we gave our them our shoes, shoes. yeah and they, they ran shoes. yeah they ran with us so then we ran into, uh, at that point, what were, what was the, what, well, how much have we raised at that point? So you had just found out, like, while uh, yeah, we, were, I had just found out. we were stopping to kind of, like, plan out the time we were going to meet the kids, and you had just found out, like, 56. You were, like, napping, and I woke you up, I was like, Ashley, Ashley, what, guess what number we're at, and you're like, I don't even know. <laughs> You're so out of it. And we had just reached 56, like right before we met the kids. 56,000. Which was amazing. Which is still my boy. It was just like tying it all together. Yeah. I remember I was like, what? Yeah. So we uh, ended up, um, no, thank you. We ended up um, running and we met the kids halfway. And like, I was like so tired. I was like trying to run as fast as I could and my legs would not move. They wouldn't. I remember looking over, I'm like, Ashley, your shoe legs I was like done. dying. Like, I was dying and the yeah. kids were like, <laughs> they were running so fast. <laughs> I was like, and everyone was holding our hands, so they were like setting the pace. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I don't want to run. But anymore. what was the rush of emotion that you felt when you saw those kids, dude? I instantly um, started crying. Tears yeah. were just like, 
full. I think the biggest, like, whenever I saw my two boys tripping yeah, cash. That was crazy. And they met me, like, and to see oh. them, I just started crying. And, you know, they have such a great relationship here with the boys at MFO. And my boys were holding their hands and, you yeah. know, that someone grabbed onto Hannah's hands. Yeah. And, What's that? Yeah. And so I think, like, it was just all pretty amazing. And our total to date that we know that we raised was how much? Okay. Like 63, 64 Six, right 64 now. 64,000 and growing. That doesn't include the glow run, right. the money that we made raised from the glow run. Which was uh -huh. pretty crazy too. And it doesn't include, like, I donated for every trade that was bought, I donated 40% of that um, for the past like two weeks. And so, I mean, we definitely have, you said it was 60? 66. So it's going to be around like 70 plus thousand dollars. Yeah. And it's still, we're going to keep it open until Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So, we are going to but I just want to say, you know, a huge thank you to our everybody who sponsored it. Yeah. Uh, Reebok, um, <coughs> Power Dot, Rock Tape. Um, a huge shout out to the security team, to yeah. Ironclad, yeah. to the. Uh, I got Liquivita yeah. Lounge, uh, Raw sunscreen. Elements Sunscreen, mm -hmm. Caveman Foods. Caveman Foods literally fueled us the whole time. Yeah. Um, I couldn't eat it. It's too spicy. It's, <laughs> it's too got spicy. like a, a mouth I, of a virgin. I <laughs> I said it's not spicy. I'm like, are you sure? Okay, I'll try to eat it. And then like, Hannah, Italy. like it has a pepper on the wrapper. Okay, it's not spicy, but only spicy. It's is definitely Ashley. spicy. A little mild, mild. <laughs> but yeah. But yes. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, power dot. We power definitely dot used the power dot. Yeah. And the Liquid Vita Lounge, dude. The IVs were. Oh yeah. That was a game changer. Um. And bodyblowing.com. Yeah. For all supplements. And that was it. So. Hello, baby. Cash, I, I want to ask you a question real quick. What do you think that, like, what did it mean to you? Do you understand, like, what Mommy and Hannah did the past three days? And what did it mean to you whenever, what did you think whenever you saw us running with the flag? Talk about. Uh, Talk about. Talk about. What did it? What did it mean? To, like, what did you think? What did? What did you think about me doing this run? Well, it was two hundred miles. Two hundred thirty. <laughs> Were you impressed? What did you think whenever you saw me? Well, when I when I when I think when I saw you like after before you started, I feel like you would be like. Hmm. Oh, uh, like, like your feet, like half of your legs would be like purple. Yeah. Well, then I think you've stepped on my toes like six times. That was the first times. thing that happened whenever you saw him. You were like, my toes are really sore. And he's like, oh yeah? I know. I was like, gosh, my toes are so sore. And he goes, oh yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes. Um, anyways, but we, 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 uh, something that you guys probably want to know, um, as far as like shoes, <laughs> we wore oh, yeah. the, uh, the Reebok float rides, which are awesome, and we also use the harmonies. Yeah, the, the harmonies. Yeah, yeah. The, the harmonies were good when your feet get tired from the pave, like the pounding of the pavement. Yeah. They were super cushioned. Yes, they are heavier than the float rides. The float rides are super lightweight, yeah. um, and they have a lot of like flexibility and expansion for the toes. Yeah. Um, both great shoes, like we switched off and on. Yeah, we did. And I think the harmonies, like they yeah. supported the Achilles. Yeah, a great, a great amount, like mm -hmm. a lot more than. Yeah. But I started out with a size eight. I went up to a size nine. Yeah. Niner? Did you? Yeah, go, did I you went. Up, I went eight and a half to nine. My feet didn't swell too much, and that's something else that I think is needs to be like documented. Ashley's joints did not hurt the entire run, which is like superhuman status. My joints, and I feel like I'm a pretty well trained athlete, and I have zero knee issues, zero ankle issues, hip issues, pretty injury free, but my knees, dude, like, by probably like mile 50, they were done. And it was just a matter of mind over matter and just keep pushing. Ashley's joints did it's not like, hurt. I didn't even realize it until the end. Like, my, what hurt me, that I kept having to have help from, 
like there was some my muscles like yeah, they were stuff. so sore yeah like almost immediately like <clears throat> any like I had to do so much like like yeah. my there was something wrong with my mu like my joints didn't hurt at all which is not right like, there's nothing. nothing wrong with that like if anyone runs a, a 12 mile run like you know how your joints feel the next day we this chick ran 230 and had zero pain in her joints yeah I don't know that was weird yeah. I'm not there's nothing that I'm taking like no, I'm not I'm not, not like glutamine or yeah. like there's yeah. nothing that I've been taking to like, you know, prepare, oh, yeah. it, you know. And we definitely fueled up with like RSP Nutrition. We did a lot of like glutamine, Regen BCAAs. Yeah. At times we try to do pre-workout, but we try to stay off of that as much as possible because obviously there's a crash after that. Yeah, and we kept the caffeine low for the most yeah. point. Because we, 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 we didn't want it to affect our heart rate. Right, right. So we kept our caffeine low. Um, and then we, we, I think that also we realized that maybe we overslept the first day, so we kind of cut back on that. The second day and just went for straight water and the salt pills were key. Uh, we switched between two different brands and, and they worked out really well. But that's it. Yeah. <laughs> End of story. End of story. You have questions, comments, comment below. Like our page, subscribe. Like the heart. Bye. Well, like, well, like you know, oh, I couldn't finish it. So. <laughs> Hang on. So the big question is, what's next? <laughs> it's done. Okay. Alright, 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 go ahead, okay. I got this. Swagger! What? Oh, Becca, that's yours. You want me to ask that? Mm -hmm. So, the big question is after this, what's next? <laughs> what's Too next? <laughs> Too well, soon. I've already decided. A small part of me. I mean, I am disappointed. I'm wondering why I got so sick. I am disappointed in that. Um, besides the heat exhaustion, I mean, we already knew that going into it. I mean, there's hot and then there's Haiti hot. Um, I feel like I fought through it as the best I could. <coughs> but, I mean, Iceland looks like a great place to crush a serious 300 400, miles. 400, no, 400. 400 miles. If I'm coming with you, 400. 400. Huh, I'll do 400 miles with you in Iceland. 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay. Iceland it is. 400 miles. It's not hot there. And, yeah. <laughs> Hypothermia might be the problem. <laughs> and we'll figure out a good charitable cause to donate. Yeah. So start saving your money. <laughs> so you can fund Don't us. Don't end it yet. Almost done with my paper. Did you turn it off? It's so dumb. Dude. Paper. Let's do it. Paper airplane. Yeah.